Yeah, she tucked this motherfucker in there. I don't know how she did that. Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I woke up at 11.30 p.m. to get my baby switch off with my boyfriend because today was his first day back at work after like six weeks of paternity leave. So don't have much to do today. Um, I know I said that on the weekends I'm not going to be working on my business. However, today is Friday. So after I package these, if AJ stays asleep, I'm going to go photograph the three items that I have in there and um, get myself together. And then by that time, he should be woke up and then I'll feed him so then we can head out. So that'll be interesting. <laughs>
y'all know I was shopping in my last vlog and I actually found this torrid sports bra on Mercari for like six dollars and um it originally cost 45 dollars but this one was new with tags so I thought I was gonna get it for myself so I'm like in this weird stage of my body where a lot of things don't fit like they used to okay um and i'm trying to be patient because it's like okay mentally i want to try to at least at the very least lose at least about 20 pounds the weight that i gain um with my son so if i can do that then i'd fit into my regular clothes normal um however i did get rid of a lot of them but i'm in this really awkward stage right now and it's like, do I want to shop for this body or do I want to just keep trying to squeeze into the shit that, that you know, I got. Um, but anyway, so I did get a new sports bra and it doesn't fit. Now, I overshot because I thought, you know, my boobs were a lot larger because I'm starting to notice that the bras that I was once able to fit normally are not fitting, okay? So um, I got this in hopes of that, you know, it would have worked, but it didn't. Um, the problem is, is that it had deal remarks when I first got it. I didn't really care because it's like, whatever, I was going to wash it anyways. Um, but I did try it on and it does not fit. So I'm going to resell it. And um, yeah, I'm a bit upset about it because this was a really good deal. So I'm going to go ahead and photograph this so I can relist this. But yeah, if y'all need a toured sports bra, it is a 3X. Um, I guess I was shooting a little too high, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and list this. So, I just got an email from Closet Mentor. I'm, like, all up in the camera. But I got an email from Closet Mentor, and they have a 90% off sale at this moment. Um, they open up at 10, I want to say. But since I'm going to have Bubby all day today, I don't think I'm going to make that drive just because this will be my first outing with him alone. And I would hate to start off on the wrong foot. So I'm not going to go way out there. What is that? So I'm not going to go way out there. Is that? I thought this was fucking eBay. It's fetch. They're so annoying. But anyway, so what I was about to say is that I'm not about to drive uh, way out there and, you know, probably have one of the worst days ever. <laughs> so I'm just going to go run my little up the street errands and call it a day.
Baba. Okay. It is currently 10 19 and my baby is still asleep i am gonna go ahead and wake him up now because my sister is about to head over to grab me and my mom and we're all about to go to the store to grab some food go back to my sisters and hang out and just kind of catch up and have a good time because we haven't hung out all three of us together like in a setting in a very long time so very much needed so I need to go ahead and pack Bubby's bag and um, try to get him together so then I can feed him before we leave. So y'all, I cannot believe he is still asleep. I typically don't like to pack this big ass bag when we aren't like going, going somewhere, but I'm gonna go ahead and just pack it just because I don't know how long I'm gonna be over there. baby is put down it is 707 in the morning so yesterday me and my family hung out if you guys have been here for over a year you've seen my vlogs when me and my mom and my sister hang out y'all know how we get down um however since i'm a mother now um i was actually scared to drink so i didn't drink yesterday um but i feel like when i decide that i want to have a drink it's very much so going to be on the day where my baby spends the night at my boyfriend's family house. So technically on Saturdays evening is when I would have a drink because then I don't have to wake up and be a mom. I can just wake up and nurse a hangover or just relax. But anyway, so we hung out yesterday and it was so refreshing. We ended up spending like damn near seven hours together just chilling, catching up, laughing and just all the fun stuff that we all needed. So that was really nice um what else i also found out that it's a dutch bros in my area so i'm actually gonna go there today um later on of course because i'm gonna drink my own coffee but i did make two sales on mercari and then one on poshmark let me tell y'all something i didn't already made 11 sales on mercari this month that's more than i made the last two months combined at this point um so i don't know if me deleting all my listings for you know the new year and then just starting fresh or like me listing them at market price like or what it is but it's really helping now granted i noticed that these are lower dollars so these are just like 20 25 dollars i do get a one-off where i get like 40 45 dollars on an item but i'm gonna be honest i'm not gonna complain i like it um especially since posh has been a little bit slower than i would have liked and yeah depop i haven't made anything just yet well i did earlier in the week yeah because it's the weekend it feels so weird i'm getting all my days confused but anyways so um i just printed out the shipping label so i'm actually go ahead and pick up what sold so i can show y'all what sold what has sold um, these are some men's leggings um they're like the compression ones i feel like these are like 100 percent selfie rate for me granted i've only picked up like three but men nike like leggings the nike pro ones they sell and they sell pretty quickly i've noticed um this one actually sold on ebay these are some rei um like silk joggers i actually haul these in my video that y'all should have saw on monday um i hauled those and i was laughing at it because i'm just kind of like i probably shouldn't have picked these up because rei for some reason like doesn't do great for me um and then the next one is actually on mercari the nike leggings are on mercari too these are some abercrombie and fitch 
jeans these are actually a size zero ironically enough this is the size that i've been sourcing every time i find abercrombie and fitch i really want to manifest like that curvy love one that everybody is able to sell for 50 60 bucks but i have not um so i've just been picking up these ones these are two out of four that has sold so the sell through rate is at 50 percent as we speak and then the last thing that sold was this Kate Spade like blazer and skirt set. This is actually from a consignee. I've had this, I wanna say since, I wanna say October and it finally sold. This shit got so much attention and I mean hella attention. Um, but if y'all watch my other video where I was talking about things that I have like updated in my business, I'm consigning. So I can't accept your lower offer. Like there is a price and then there is a price that I am willing to go and that's it. So this one, $100 was my minimum, but they kept coming back. Like they kept coming back for more. So once they sent me that $80 offer, I counted at 95 because I'm like, okay, I'll do 95 because I was going to do the dollar drop, but I was like, let me just do 95 and they actually accepted it. So I'm like, perfect. So we finally got this one out and I'm happy about that. Um, I remember talking to one of my consignees and letting them know like, hey, when the new year starts, I'm going to ship your items back because at that time I'm like, I just want to only have my inventory. Um, but I think she told me that she was out of the country, so that wasn't going to work. So I was like, no problem. So I just kept them up and I'll just, I guess I'll just keep them until, you know, they either want them back or they all sell. So there's that. But I did get my package. So um, y'all know I was shopping on Depop like I've been doing this morning. This thing is stuffed. I've been shopping on uh, Depop uh -oh, because it's almost kind of like, why well, the fuck not? And, um, I like to find deals. I notice the people that are resellers are the ones that's given the deals. Because people that originally buy their clothes, some of them don't know that the value kind of goes down and you need to adjust. But yeah, she tucked this motherfucker in there. I don't know how she did that. But it is just a Patagonia sweater. This might be perfect sizing because it is like a Henley and y'all know I like oversized stuff. So I got it a little bit larger than what I would normally get. I do need to get back to a brand. So they originally reached out to me and they kind of like low key try to play me. But then I was just kind of like, I'm only doing paid sponsorships at the moment. And then they asked for my rates. I gave it to them which I didn't think that they were gonna commit because if they was offering me dust first, I didn't think that they would have, you know, agreed to my rates, but they did. And I still haven't got back to them, which is really bad on my part. Y'all know how when you read a text message and you mentally respond and you never like text them back, that's kind of what happened.
Um, so I just got out the shower and I feel so refreshed. This was actually my first time taking a shower without my boyfriend here watching the baby. He's actually asleep, so we love to see it. My boyfriend's at work. But anyways, um, so I already got his bath stuff ready. Um, I'm about to go and pack his bag now and pick out his clothes that I'm gonna put him on, you know, now. So I can get him ready. So then by the time it's time for me to go, everything will be ready and i'll just have to feed him and then we out of here then i need to pick up my purse because i left my purse at my sister's house yesterday and then i'm actually going to come home most likely take my hair down and wash it and let it breathe for a couple of days or a week and then um, i think i'm gonna retwist it next weekend so about last night um i went to my sister's house and I actually was drunk for the first time, y'all. <laughs> I only had like three wine coolers. Like, I think it was like Mike's Hard Lemonade. And we had a great time. Um, my baby is at his auntie's house, so I had like two more hours. I decided to lay in bed for like two hours because I deserved it. But I'm about to take my hair down um, and try to wash it real quick after I drink some coffee. So I'll see y'all in a sec. I feel like I lost my voice just a tad because we was really getting lit. And I didn't bring my camera to like sit it on the stand so y'all can like watch us, you know, in B-roll acting a fool. Um, so I didn't really get the vlog, any of that part. But we, it was just me and my mom and my sister and we was having a good time, just kind of talking, venting and stuff. And then my dad came over with some of his family, my aunts and stuff. And we had a good little moment there. It was really fun. Like I had a really good time. And um, the funny thing is that I really only drank three um, Mike's Hard Lemonades because I heard that when you haven't drank, I guess, for a while, you become like somebody that needs to readjust and I'm not saying that I was like throwing them back every weekend but let's just say I had cognac back then so um I hadn't drank since March of last year of 2022 so it's been a while okay and that was my first time drinking so it felt really nice to get a little look at my system but I did make some sales while I was out which I love because you know that's that's what you want you want to still be able to run your business without running your business i feel like i want to drop my prices because today is closet clear out but at the same time i'm just over marking my prices back up and then some of the numbers being outrageous and then some of the numbers being like too fucking low so i think i'm just gonna only do it once a month but i'll only do it like if my sales have been complete trash that week and i need to make up for it with the sale i think that's that's what i'm i'm gonna start doing because i don't know i just don't personally like to drop my prices at this point i'd rather just send them a discount price and a um discount on shipping because having to you know come from behind to fix a lot of my listings is just not the wave but it was not that bad i made me a good old 12 ounce of coffee this time strong i made it home like a little before midnight so i wasn't out that long just out for a couple of hours but I don't think my mom is gonna take my baby today too cause she might be hungover. So I'm gonna take my hair down now. I mean, I still have time. So I'm gonna take my hair down and I'm gonna wash it and blow dry it and then just put something over it. Cause I don't think I'm gonna be able to flat iron it as well right now. Get high on your feet, I swear to God, I'm always at. Divide the shoes, split up the house, get the frost. Put all of my whips out, I made the knife look a little awesome. 
Pas de soleil, pas de soleil, pas de soleil, pas de soleil. 